First of all, congratulations on this film. It was intense and amazing in so many levels. Um, Thank you. I know this role was actually important to you to tell the story. So tell me what it was about that that was that spoke to you. Well, you know, I can say that when I first read the script and I and I decided to be part of the movie, it was really just that. Um, um, I just thought it was an incredibly compelling drama. It was like this old-fashioned, uh, you know, just very well-written story about like real people who I, I could relate to. I could say, I know someone like that. I know what that house is like. I know what these people are going to go through. Um, and, um, and then when I watched the movie, you know, I didn't realize how kind of suspenseful and tense it was. That it's sort of, on the one hand, it's this really gripping drama. On the other hand, it's kind of like a great action movie. And uh, so uh, I think that is uh, a, a credit to Scott Cooper directing it, you know, and um, and then uh, sort of over the course of doing some research about my character, who's a veteran, who's coming back from Iraq, I did I got involved in you know just trying to learn about kind of what what it's like for some of these these guys who are returning from deployment overseas and um, what they go through trying to kind of reintegrate to society, how hard that can be, um, how little support they actually get, and um, you know how, how alienating and frustrating it can it can be, and and it explained a lot of sort of what you know, kind of some of these statistics you hear about, like a third of our homeless people are veterans, or you know horrible things like how many veterans kill themselves every single day, you know, one ever an hour in this country, and um, you think how can that possibly be? Um, and if you spend a little bit of time talking to these guys and, and understanding what they've been through and um, what it's like when they come back to this country, uh, it starts to make sense. And I wish that there were, you know, as, as, a, as a society, we did more to help these uh, young men and women because um, we ask a lot of them when we send them to fight. And I love that you guys did touch on that because I know that Scott has talked about veterans that have seen the film that have thanked him for, for portraying it so perfectly. Um, one of the things that Scott said that he loved about you was that you're a live wire on set. That has to come in handy when you're doing these intense, brutal fight scenes, which was, I think, one of the most intense roles I've, and physical roles I've seen you in. I guess so. <laughs> I don't know about a live wire. I'm not sure what he's trying to say there, but I... Um... I guess um, it definitely was one of the more physical parts I've done and just because it required a certain amount of training. Like my character gets involved in these kind of fighting rings, these like illegal bare knuckle backyard fighting rings. Now that didn't mean that I had to look like a professional boxer or anything because most of the people that are doing this are just guys. They're not, they haven't actually, they're not really athletes or anything. They're just um, guys who need money and they're sort of angry and, or, or violent. And um, so, um, you know, I didn't have to look great, but I had to look like I could actually handle myself in a, in a you know, street fight, essentially, uh, which took a, a kind of good deal of, of training and working out. And um, so I would say it's one of the more physical roles I've done. For sure. And it was great to watch. It was a lot of fun to watch. I mean, some of the scenes, not so much fun, but <laughs> it was it, the fight scenes were amazing. Um, why do you think AMC theater audiences will love Out of the Furnace? Well, um, I think that, uh, you know, AMC theater audiences would like this movie because, um, you know, Christian Bale, for one thing, is the uh, lead of the movie and is, is uh, I think, if, if it's possible to be Batman and to be underrated, I would say that he's our most underrated actor because he's uh, incredibly gifted. I've really never worked with anybody quite like him who can... Um, who inhabits a part, you know, so fully and is so committed and works so hard and, and makes really interesting choices. Um, so for people who like performances and like acting, they're going to really enjoy that. They're, um, for people who just like watching a really exciting movie, a really well-made movie that kind of, you know, keeps you on the edge of your seat and um, gives you something to talk about when you're leaving the theater, um, I think uh, those people will like this as well. Well, thank you, because we can't wait to have it on our screens. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thanks. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to AMC Movie News on YouTube. It's free and a great way to stay updated with all the latest movie news and check out our daily show, AMC Movie Talk. Also, don't forget to check us out on Facebook and Twitter to stay in the loop for our special prizes, giveaways, and contests.